Have you noticed that even when following your Parkinson's treatment plan perfectly, some days your muscle weakness feels more intense, or that certain weeks your mobility decreases alarmingly with no apparent reason? If you or someone you love lives with Parkinson's, you've probably experienced this roller coaster of symptoms that seems to make no sense. Today, I'm revealing something hardly anyone is talking about. Two vitamins that, when used incorrectly, can drastically accelerate muscle weakness and mobility loss in people with Parkinson's. As a neurologist specializing in neurodegenerative diseases for over 18 years, I've observed a concerning pattern among patients who were unknowingly worsening their own symptoms through supplements and foods they believed were beneficial. Most alarming is that these two vitamins are frequently recommended to people with Parkinson's, creating a dangerous cycle that silently compromises quality of life. Doctors rarely discuss this issue, focusing only on conventional medications. But the reality is that what you put into your body beyond prescription drugs may be sabotaging all the efforts of traditional treatment. In the next few minutes, I'll share discoveries that have transformed hundreds of my patients' lives, allowing them to regain strength and mobility they thought they'd lost forever. Stay with me until the end, because besides identifying these two problematic vitamins, I'll show you exactly how to use them correctly, transforming them from enemies into powerful allies in controlling Parkinson's symptoms. This might be the most valuable information you'll receive today about maintaining your independence and quality of life for much longer. Before we begin, I'd love to know where you're watching from today. Leave a comment below and feel free to ask any questions you might have. If you or someone you love is facing the daily challenges of Parkinson's and seeking reliable science-based information explained simply, you're in the right place. Let's start with the first vitamin that can accelerate strength and mobility loss when used incorrectly, vitamin D in excessively high doses. That's right, the famous sunshine vitamin we hear so much about for its benefits. It's important to clarify. Adequate vitamin D levels are essential for people with Parkinson's. Studies show that deficiency of this vitamin is associated with faster disease progression and greater severity of motor symptoms. However, the problem begins when patients, driven by desperation to improve quickly, resort to megadoses of this vitamin without proper supervision. Recent research demonstrates that excessively high doses of vitamin D can trigger hypercalcemia, elevated blood calcium levels. Hypercalcemia directly affects the nervous and muscular systems causing an alarming acceleration of muscle weakness, intense fatigue, and significant worsening of motor coordination. Exactly the symptoms that people with Parkinson's fear most. Richard, a 65-year-old patient I've been following for seven years, started taking 50,000 IU of vitamin D weekly on his own after reading about its benefits online. In just two months, his walking ability drastically reduced. He went from 30 minutes of daily walking to barely being able to cross the living room without support. His tremors intensified and his muscle weakness became debilitating. After detailed testing, we discovered dangerously high calcium levels in his blood. We suspended the excessive supplementation, adjusted to an appropriate dose of 2000 IU daily, and in just three weeks, Richard recovered much of his strength and mobility. Today, he can walk for 20 minutes without interruption and has resumed activities he had abandoned. But the problem isn't just the dosage. How vitamin D is metabolized also matters enormously. This vitamin works in conjunction with other nutrients, especially magnesium and vitamin K2. Isolated supplementation of high doses of vitamin D without these cofactors can unbalance the entire calcium metabolism, leading to calcification of soft tissues and joints, which significantly worsens stiffness and pain, further limiting mobility. The current recommendation for Parkinson's patients is to maintain blood levels of vitamin D between 30 and 50 ng ml, which is usually achieved with doses between 1,000 and 2,000 IU daily. Any supplementation should be based on regular laboratory tests and always accompanied by magnesium and, ideally, vitamin K2 to ensure proper calcium metabolism balance. Before continuing with the second problematic vitamin, I want to pause and ask you something important. How does muscle strength and mobility loss affect your daily life or the daily life of your family member with Parkinson's? Which activities have become more challenging? This question isn't just out of curiosity. Your comments help me create more specific content for the real difficulties you face. Share your experience in the comments below. The second vitamin that can dramatically accelerate strength and mobility loss in people with Parkinson's is vitamin B12, but not in the way you might imagine. The problem isn't with the vitamin itself. In fact, 
B12 deficiency is a well-established factor in worsening neurological symptoms. The problem lies in the complex interaction between vitamin B12, proteins, and Parkinson's medications. Scientific studies clearly show that low B12 levels are associated with faster progression of Parkinson's disease, with accelerated decline in motor and cognitive function. A Mayo Clinic study with 680 patients demonstrated that those with B12 deficiency showed a significantly higher rate of muscle strength and mobility deterioration. However, the real problem occurs when patients try to correct this deficiency without understanding the subtleties of pharmacology. Levodopa, the main medication for controlling Parkinson's, directly competes with proteins for the same intestinal transporter. When a patient ingests B12 supplements, usually in formulas containing proteins, or protein-rich foods, along with the medication, levodopa absorption is drastically reduced. The result is devastating. Even while taking medication regularly, the patient doesn't get its full benefits. It feels like the disease is progressing rapidly, when in fact it's the treatment's effectiveness that's compromised. Each partially absorbed medication dose means more hours with intense tremors, muscle rigidity and difficulty moving. Mary, a 72-year-old patient, arrived at my office in a wheelchair after an alarming deterioration in just three months. She had started an intensive supplementation protocol recommended by a nutritionist, which included high doses of B-complex taken with a protein shake at breakfast, exactly at the same time she took her Parkinson's medication. When we adjusted her supplementation schedule, separating it by at least two hours from her medication and redistributed her protein intake away from medication times, the results were impressive. In just one month, Mary left the wheelchair and went back to using just a cane for support. In three months, she recovered 70% of her previous mobility and resumed social activities she had abandoned. This situation is particularly dangerous because it creates a vicious cycle. The doctor, seeing that symptoms are worsening, increases the medication dose. The patient, feeling worse, increases nutritional supplementation, and so the interference intensifies, further accelerating strength and mobility loss. The solution isn't to abandon vitamin B12 or proteins. Both are essential for neurological and muscular health. The correct strategy is to create intelligent scheduling. 1. Take levodopa on an empty stomach, ideally 30 minutes before meals or one hour after. 2. Schedule B12 supplementation and protein-rich meals for at least two hours before or after medication. 3. Consider concentrating most of your protein intake at dinner when the impact on medication absorption during the day will no longer be relevant. 4. During the day, prioritize complex carbohydrates, fruits, and vegetables to maintain energy levels without compromising treatment. Before we continue with our next method, I want to extend a special invitation. If you or someone you love is facing the daily challenges of Parkinson's and seeks reliable science-based information, explained simply, this channel was created especially for you. Here we regularly share practical strategies, exercises, and tips that have helped hundreds of people regain small and large independences in daily life. Click the subscribe button now, it's completely free, and you won't miss any technique that could make a difference in your quality of life or that of your family member. Now that we know these two problematic vitamins, let's understand how to transform them from enemies into powerful allies in controlling muscle strength and mobility for people with Parkinson's. For vitamin D, the strategy is simple. One. Get regular blood tests to monitor your levels, ideally maintaining between 30 and 50 ing and mel. 2. Follow medical recommendation for the appropriate dose, usually between 1,000 and 2,000 IU daily. 3. Make sure your supplementation includes magnesium and vitamin K2, fundamental for proper metabolism of vitamin D and calcium. 4. Consider moderate daily sun exposure, 10 to 15 minutes before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m., as a natural source of vitamin D. 5. Monitor symptoms such as extreme fatigue, sudden muscle weakness, or joint pain, which may indicate hypercalcemia. For vitamin B12, the strategy involves careful timing. 1. Check your levels regularly. B12 deficiency is common in elderly people and those with Parkinson's. 2. If necessary, opt for supplementation forms that don't contain proteins, such as sublingual spray or injections, which don't compete with levodopa. 3. Maintain a minimum two-hour interval between B12 supplementation and Parkinson's medication. 4. Organize your diet in a protein map. Concentrate protein-rich foods, meat, eggs, dairy, legumes at dinner 
and prioritize fruits, vegetables, and complex carbohydrates during the day. 5. Consider B12 supplementation at night, away from medication doses, to minimize interactions. Implementing these strategies, I've seen patients regain muscle strength and mobility in surprising ways. James, a 68-year-old university professor, came to my office using a walker after a rapid deterioration of his condition. After three months following this vitamin and medication synchronization protocol, he abandoned the walker, started driving again, and resumed his academic activities. The most important thing to understand is that the vitamins themselves aren't harmful. They're essential for neurological health. The problem lies in excessive vitamin D dosage and in the interaction of vitamin B12 and proteins with medications. When used correctly, these same vitamins can be powerful allies in maintaining muscle strength and mobility. Always remember, any change in supplementation regimen should be discussed with your doctor. Each Parkinson's patient has individual needs that must be considered, and the ideal balance for one may not be the same for another. If this video brought some hope or useful information to you, I'd like to invite you to join our support community here on the channel. Living with Parkinson's presents unique challenges that often only those who experience them truly understand. By subscribing to the Beyond Parkinson channel, you'll have access to new videos every week with specific techniques for each Parkinson's symptom, from exercises to improve balance to strategies for reducing morning stiffness. Our commitment is to bring content that really makes a difference in your daily life, filtered and tested by experts, but explained in simple, direct language. Many of our subscribers report that small changes learned here have transformed their independence and confidence. Subscribing is very simple. Just click the subscribe button below this video and then the bell to be notified when we publish new content. Remember, you're not alone on this journey and every step counts. We want to follow and support your progress and celebrations. Every small victory matters and we're here to help you achieve many of them. Thank you for being with us today and we hope to see you in our next video. Take good care.